Hi everyone, it's Lori. We'll see who's on today. Just wanted to jump on and show you um, a method for um, using my digital downloads off the website on mixed media projects. So we'll give it a second and see who joins us this evening. Kind of impromptu, just felt like getting on tonight and seeing um, who was out there. So let me see here. I'm going to get there we go. I'm gonna hey, join. Just wanted to jump on and show you um, a method for um, using my digital downloads off the website on mixed media projects. So, we'll all right. So we got going here. Joins us this evening. Kind of impromptu. Just felt like getting on tonight and seeing um, who was out there. So <laughs> okay. See. There's always a bit of a delay, so. All right, so here I'll just get started because I know this will, you know, replay um, for those who can't join right now. Um, what I do is there's a couple methods for using the digital downloads. These are the images um, out on the website um, at www.lorescarsandcreations.com, and there's images that I have created out there as well as oh hi Cheryl Cheryl's joined, as well as images. Um, that Carrie um, Sue Fine Art and Illustration has created. So one of the things I like to do is use them on my mixed media project. So I'm going to turn the camera down now to my um, workspace here and, and, and show you what I do and how I get the images off the website. So let me adjust this a bit. All right, let's see. Give it a second make sure you can see my workspace here. Okay, I think you can. So the first thing I do um, on the digital downloads is um, I go to the website, I download them, and um, they're in a PDF file. And so I use um, just a program to put them into a full um, page sheet printout. Um, and then I print them out on my Epson LaserJet printer. So um, on that, um, so what and how do you do that? You know, tissue paper, you can't just run it straight through um, the printer like you can uh, other things, other paper. So what I do is I take just a plain white sheet, here's one here, and I, I use this Krylon Easy Tack. And this is what I use to um, create a um, tacky surface. And then you can use any type of tissue paper. I like using, I, I buy those acrylic um, sheets, you know, the acetate, and in between each of those is a piece of tissue paper. And so then I just put it down on the um, adhesive sheet. And it, this one I've used several times, so you can see that when you first put it on there, it will be super tacky. As you keep using it, it gets less, and you might have to put more on there. But then this is ready now to run through my printer and print off. So let me show you then what you get. So here's some ones that I printed. Um, this is just my pile here of extras. And it's just fun um, way to really transfer these images onto your mixed media. Okay, so there you go. That's what I have. And um, one of the ways I like to use it is, so I have a project here. This is just a extra piece um, that I did with acrylic paint. And what I wanna do is I wanna take this Jeep image here and I wanna trans, and I wanna put it onto this um, piece of paper here that I've covered with acrylic paint. So what I'm gonna do is, you don't have to be super exact, just roughly cut around the image. So, here we go. All right, and this is one of Carrie Sue's um, um, images. This is the Jeep, I think it's Jeep one. It's, she has several out there that are available and they're super fun to use. Um, great for 
if you want to make a card, a mixed media card, or some type of project that you want to give to a guy, it would make a great guy card. So maybe that's what I'll do with this one when I'm done. All right, so here I go. Have my image. I wanted to kind of, I wanted to go right there. And so, what you need to do is use a. I like using the matte varnish. This is a really um, loose, a uh, liquidy varnish. You can see here when I put it on the table, very liquidy. Um, I've tried this with um, other um, varnishes before, and I'm trying to get so you can see me better on here. <laughs> All right. There's like a few more people that join. I have to say, everyone, I am new to this, and I still sometimes don't um, get the Facebook Live thing totally on track here. Uh, so, if you've joined and I haven't recognized you, thank you for joining. All right, I'm gonna move it up there. Oh, that's much better. I can see better now where I'm at. Okay, so, So here we go. So what I want to do, is the first thing I want to do is I want to put the matte varnish down on the surface uh, that I'm going to adhere the tissue um, image to. And I want it to be wet. Um, one thing I want to be careful of is once you lay down this tissue, you don't want to overwork it because part of making it kind of blend into the background is getting this wet. But you don't want to overwork it because the tissue can tear. So. You put it on there and what I like to do is again just work from the center and pull out and if it wrinkles it wrinkles you know it's better than trying to pull it up because it will tear so very gently I'm going to go over it one more time to make sure that it's well adhered and then there's my Jeep on the background so um, that's what it looks like and it's super easy to do um, it creates a fun um, way to use the digital downloads where it's not just a um, you know a white piece of paper that you're cutting trimming out and that which is fun to do on certain projects um, and so but this is really allowing for a more um, translucent thing you can't you know, it's like you stamped it but you really didn't you used um, use the printed digital image. So let's try this again. I think we'll try this with, here's another image of Carrie Sue. You can see this one's a little wrinkly in that. This is the, one of her goggle girls. So same thing, I am going to just trim her out a little bit. Don't have to be super exact. Let's see here. All right. She's so fun, this image. I just love it. Once this dries, I got, um, you can dry it with a heat tool. Um, and then I like to, if I'm gonna color these, once I color it with the varnish, the one, uh, one good way to color, add color to the image afterwards is with um, the Faber-Castell pit pens because they are permanent ink and um, will um, be permanent over the glossy surface that we're creating. Um, with the varnish so all right so here she is cut out let me see I have another piece of just scratch paper here that I have so I'm gonna put her on this so same thing I have my varnish I'm gonna go over the surface and get it wet I want a nice layer um, I was saying before I tried this with a, a thicker um, type of medium uh, matte medium in that and it just I just don't find as much success with it as I do with this more liquid because you want the tissue paper to be wet and um, kind of disappear in the background so you just have the printed image showing so there you go again lightly go over it and let it dry and so now again I can add um, color to this with pit pens or other um, permanent things ink and anything like that so there you have it. Um, again, these are images that you can get off my website, um, www.lauriscardsandcreations.com. Um, um, you can, you know, purchase the downloaded images. You can print them on tissue paper, um, and then easily transfer these images over to your mixed media projects, like I've done here. So, I think 
that's it for me tonight. Um, thank you, Cheryl. I'm glad you liked the image. <laughs> Thanks, Derek. That Derek is my son and he joined. That's wonderful. Thanks for the comment. Um, these are just fun ways to use, um, some, bring some different um, products into your mixed media. I think next time I'll, I'll print them on regular paper and show how you can use them that way. But I really like this method. I, it just, um, it's a fun way to bring these images into your projects. And I appreciate you joining me today. Um, I will sign off for now, but have a good evening and, and thanks again everyone.